joins us now from Monroeville with a different take on how much we really pay. Jake. That's right, Michelle. It's hard to believe it. Back in 1979, a gallon of gas cost just 84 cents a gallon. Today here at this BP station in Monroeville, it's 229 a gallon. Seems like a huge jump, right? Well, what if I told you that gas today essentially costs the same as it did back in 1979? Well, it does, relatively speaking. The numbers at the pump make most people stagger. It's uh, scary. Wonder uh, what it'll be down the road. The current gas prices make many reminisce about the old days when gas went for pennies a gallon. Gary Stefanik remembers going to the pump 30 years ago. Remember going to the gas tank 30 years ago? Yes, I do. Do you remember what you paid for gas then? Uh, I believe it's probably about 80 cents a gallon. Did that seem high to you then? Not at all. Well, the cost of gas over the last 80 plus years hasn't really changed that much when you factor in the cost of living. For example, in 1919, a gallon went for a quarter. In today's dollars, that would be a whopping $2.75 a gallon. In 1939, it was 19 cents. In today's dollars, that would be $2.52 a gallon. In 1981, gas prices shot all the way up to a buck 41 a gallon. That was the equivalent of paying $3.01 a gallon today. Even now, it seems like we're paying a tremendous amount, but in reality, it's, it's really on par with a lot of other gas prices over the past couple of decades. Maybe it's just that some of us, our income isn't growing as much, so we feel we're paying more. The size of the increases also contributes to what you might call sticker shock. Every other day or every other week, it changes by 10 cents a gallon, so. And that's harder to swallow than a penny every couple uh, months. Yeah, I, I believe so. You see jumps uh, at 10 cents or more. People remember what they paid last time they filled up, and that tends to be quite a shock for them. And now, despite these high prices, the demand for gas was actually 2.5% higher this June than it was a year ago. Reporting live in Monroeville tonight, Jake Ploger, Channel 4 Action News.